Okay, run and set. The date is Sunday, May 31st, 2009. The place, Newton, Massachusetts. This is no ordinary race. It's the first annual Katie Lynch Heartbreak Hill Half Marathon. This event is inspired by a tiny giant who dedicated her life to opening doors for the differently abled. One needs to really be a problem solver when one has a lot of challenges. And it's a lot of the strategy and I'll be honest, a lot in the attitude. Katie Lynch was born with a form of dwarfism so rare it has no name. Doctors said she would not live, but she did for 27 years, and she accomplished a lot, including graduating summa cum laude from Regis College and participating in the 2001 Boston Marathon on a specially designed course, 26.2 feet long. And it was the most amazing, emotional moment in the history of Boston Marathon, and I've been involved for 38 years. After Katie's passing in 2002, her family and friends wanted to honor her legacy of inclusion for all. And what better way than a race along the Boston Marathon's legendary Heartbreak Hill? This is a great race. Athletes you know, who are leading the race are going to like. This is a challenging race for you. Mid-packers are going to like it. Back of the packers are going to like it. It's a great community event. And there's something for people who aren't runners as well. On your mark, get set. Welcome to the first annual Purple Shoes Challenge, named after the customized purple running shoes Katie wore for her Boston Marathon. We also wanted to have the synthesis of a quality running event with something that is inclusive, which is what Katie was all about, making sport inclusive. More than 300 runners helped us raise money to support projects that focus on inclusion for all. We're hoping to build on this mission with the second annual Katie Lynch Heartbreak Hill Half Marathon and Purple Shoes Challenge on Sunday, May 16th, 2010. It was nice to run for something and for a cause. And, you know, every time that I was running and it was really hard with all the hills, it just was a motivating factor to, you know, really push it. But, you know, to run for somebody else. It's a tough course. It's, it's a nice day out. I think it's the whole spirit of the race. It kind of reflects Katie's spirit and enthusiasm. The race course is challenging. It's not easy, um, but I think it, you know, it brings out the best in a runner. It gives you a chance to strive to accomplish a, a pretty hefty goal. We had close to 100 volunteers for our first race, and every one of them got into it, got the spirit, was so happy, and um, everyone said they're coming back next year. So we're just looking forward to a bigger and better race.